Hello and good morning everyone. Today is the day I am running my first race of this decade. 2020 just started three weeks ago and we are going to run the 60 meter and the 200. To start off, I just want to announce that I have got my first personal sponsor. This right here, JBM Products. They're really good at making all kinds of stuff from stainless steel. So now I'm finally getting some extra support for my competitions and my training. And I'm really happy about it, so I just wanted to give them a little shout out. JBM Products, I'll put a link below if you are interested. So today I'm running the 60 meter and the 200 meter. No surprise there. And also, this may come as a little surprise to some of you. I'm going to try out the long jump. I've been training long jump a little bit here and there, but I've not posted a lot about it, so it's been kinda on the down low, just in case it doesn't go well. So anyways, before we go on, here is a little bit of my long jump training for the past couple of months. I have decided that I want to try it out indoors just to see what I can do with a little bit of training. Done some jumping, it was it went pretty all right. So there it is guys, I've just been doing like jump drills really and uh, in Tenerife I had two long jump sessions with like a couple of jumps with full run up so it's not a lot of training but I hope it can get me over 7 meters today and if it goes well I will jump in the national championships next week or next weekend. Hmm? So oh, this is my cat. I'm leaving in 15 minutes. So the meet starts off with a 60. Then I do the long jump. Then we have the 60 again. And then the 200 meter. Wish me luck guys. Okay, so here we got the program for today. I usually write down everything I'm going to do. I woke up at 9.55, eat, dress, vlog, take the bus. And then I have my own program. This is where I mark that I'm going to run, I'm going to warm up. We have my 60 meter, the long jump, the 60 meter again, and the 200 meter. So tip of the day. I would pretty much recommend writing down your own time schedule for any sport you're doing if you're going to compete. Write down your own start time ahead, write down when you're warming up, when you're going to eat, and everything like that, so that you don't have to stress with it on the competition day. Ready to go. Come on! 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 Come on!
so. Okay guys, I'm back with three gold medals, the 60, the long jump and the 200 meter. So this was like an indoor regional championship and next week I'm going to run the national championships. So I'm pretty happy with how the meet went. We started off the day with 60 meter, I ran 6.91, which is my best season opener ever, I believe, indoors. Right after, I had like 10 minutes to get ready for the long jump. It was a little bit stressful, so I didn't get to like warm up properly and uh, do any jump-ins. So I just did one test jump just to check where I was compared to the plank on the run-up. So I started off the jumping competition with 6.56 and it felt pretty good, so I expected to jump a lot farther. But I didn't. I messed up the board and yeah, jumped and fell forwards and and yeah I landed with my face in the sand I think I have sand in my ears now <laughs> I got like sand in my mouth it was horrible yeah not good landings I was like I got like over rotation forwards and um, yeah what can we do after four of six jumps I dropped out of the long jump competition and started preparing for the second 60 meter in that one I ran 695, which is pretty alright. I usually run faster in the second race, but I believe my legs were probably tired after the long jump. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty okay with 695. I'm hoping next weekend will be progressive runs where I run faster and faster. That's how my best competitions usually go. So after the 6 meter I had about one and a half hour to get ready for the 200. I just relaxed for about one hour and then I had 30 minutes of like easy warm up because my legs were already warm. So this 200 was mostly a test before my 200 meter next weekend. This track only has four lanes and I don't really like to run on such small tracks. So in this race I just tried to keep relaxed. Maybe I was a bit too relaxed and uh, I just tried to keep my rhythm throughout the bend and not stress. So I think I handled that well and I did pretty good, I ran 21.99, which is one of my best season openers in, on like this kind of track. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to next weekend to see what we can do in the 60 and the 200. Considering that the long jump competition didn't go as well as I hoped to, I'm not going to jump next week uh, or yeah, I think I'll drop the long jump next weekend at the national championships and rather focus on the 200 meter, sadly. It would be fun to jump, but yeah, I think I have to prioritize the 200 this year. I'm really looking forward to next weekend. It's only six days till the national championships. If I place top two in the 60 or 200, I get to go to Helsinki the week after to run the 60 or 200 or both at the Nordic championships indoors, Nordic indoor championships. So I'm hoping to see you guys at the next National Championships vlog next week. And if that goes well, we'll get another vlog in Helsinki. See you guys later.
guys, so I'm editing this right now, and remember I said I got sand in my face? I'm literally picking, like, sand corns out of my eyes right now. I jumped yesterday. <laughs> I think, like, the sand got, like, behind my eyes, so it's, like, starting to come out now. <laughs> Very nice.